kitchen, something happened with the plumbing, whatever happened, so they have extended their mortgage. So that day is done. Now, another issue is I'm 60 years old. I'm no longer paying $40 a month. If I have a pre-existing condition or health-related issues or now I have diabetes, because guess what? It's in my DNA. This is now four to $500. At 60 years old, I don't want to pay that much money. Another issue that we have right here with this term policy is less than 1% of these policies pay out. Okay, less than 1% of them pay out. The reason behind that is because I don't plan on living for only 30 years. Go figure. <laughs> I want to live until 90. So between 30 to 60, that's 30 years. And then 60 to 90, that's another 30 years. But at 85 years old, they no longer offer insurance anymore. So anybody that does not have something that's permanent between 85 and moving forward, that means they no longer have protection. This is something huge because guess what? The rich people, they don't care about just giving a home to their kids and, and land to their kids. They want to give them tax-free money. So we want to do something that's permanent. So I can permanently guarantee that if I pass away between now and 90 years old, given I lived in 95, all the way up to 120 my kids, my family, will are guaranteed that $500,000. And the problem is, when you buy something cheap, what do they say? You get what you pay for. Next thing we're going to talk about right here is what we call supplemental retirement income. I like this a lot because this is my one and only chance that I know that I can turn around and BYOB. What does BYOB mean? BYOB, be your own bank. Now, Louie, what would you do if you could be your own bank? What are some things that you would do? Okay, you put the kids in college, the university of choice. Hopefully it's USC or UCLA. Bring them on out here to the West Coast, brother. Okay, you wanna pay for the weddings for the girls. You want to travel, new car, couple of them, buy a new home, maybe it's rental property now, you're debt free, okay, this account that you're talking about right here where you can be your own bank, guess what man, it's in an index, and it's going to grow anywhere from 8 to 16% rate of return, it's tax free growth. And withdrawals. Most importantly, guess what? If you pass away, that money right there as well is tax free. So now your family just got this five hundred thousand. Let's just say we got two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, a quarter of a million dollars. Now you're worth over over three quarters of a million. You got seven hundred fifty thousand dollars that you just passed on to your family. Now, can a term and life insurance policy do this? Heck no. Heck no, not at all no. But fortunately, with this 7702C or B plan that you can have, what you will do is you have the access to income for the rest of your life, for the rest of your life. And if you already got a 401k that you're going to get taxed on, now this right here, all it is, it's going to offset those taxes because this is tax-free money that you can potentially pull out income tax-free, and you can take a loan against it as well. So this way you're not using your own income. When this is special. You can have a chance to be your own bank. Now I listed one, two, three, four, five, six items here. There's, a, there's many more things that you would do if you could be your own bank, right? And how awesome would that feel? Next thing we're going to talk about right here is called critical illness or a terminal illness. You know what? This is uh, this is huge for me and my family. Uh, my wife's grandmother, she passed away of cancer. And when she was passing away of cancer, the doctor said, hey, you know what? Uh, you have 12 months to live. But because of having money and access to income, she actually lived for 18 months. 
what does that mean? Well, we can afford my mo more money to pay for more medication, more chemo, so forth and so on, to send her back and forth to San Francisco so the family can see her and feel, feel like they spend their last days with her. Well, in most cases, if someone gets a cancer or a critical illness and they don't have money, that, that, it, that condition is going to hurt them while they have only 12 months to live and 18 months to live. So where I'm going with this for you is if you have a critical illness or a terminal illness, we can take up to 75% of the actual value of the policy. Let's be nice and only use 50%. So that's $250,000 that we pulled out from this life insurance policy. We accelerated it. And what we did was we created a bucket list. You got 12 months to live, baby. What are you going to do with it? You got $250,000 and 12 months to live. What are you going to do? Or what, what, what would you not do? What I won't do is I won't go skydiving still. I still won't go hang gliding. And I darn well not, I won't get on no hot air balloons. That's what I won't do. But as far as riding a motorcycle about 100 miles an hour up the 405 freeway, you might catch me doing that. I got 12 months to live anyways. Might as well feel the, the, the wind hit my ears. Okay. But we got $250,000, we created a bucket list. So what mom can do is she can pay some of those bills. You know what else grandma did? Grandma paid the house off. So she didn't leave any bills with the kids. Well, guess what? If you only got a term policy, you have to die first in order to get the money. So we want to make sure that you have peace of mind in your last days when you have a critical or a terminal illness. So that way the family is not going through 12 months of hardship because you can't go to work because you are ill. You end up the family. Some families end up losing the home because if mom or dad has cancer and they can't go to work for 12 months. And then the next thing that happens, oh, they lost the home. They pulled out all the money from the 401k. They took a second on that before they lost the home, they took a mortgage out on the home to pay for the medical bills, and then they end up losing the home. So this is a, a roller coaster of emotions that are going on with this family picture that we can significantly protect them, significantly. I want you to dial in on this, okay? Because if you're giving a family the availability where they can be their own bank, they can put their kids in college, and God forbid they pass away early in life, now what you've done is you set this family up. Guess what? We took out $250,000. We still got two fifty dollars here, and there's a remaining two fifty dollars there. So the family still walks away with three quarters of a million, but initially, after everything's all said and done, they still walked away with $500,000. What does this do for that family, considering I'm the breadwinner, I make $50,000 a year for the next 10 years. My family's protected. This is something that's huge. Next thing we're going to talk about is long-term care. Inside this long-term care policy, it is nationally recognized that one in two men and women will need a form of long-term care. In this form of long-term care, mom got into a car accident. Dad is a construction worker. He got injured on the job. Something happened where he can't go to work because he twisted his knee walking into the office. Got into a huge, you know, accident while traveling outside of work. Okay? Well, two of six things have to happen. These are called ADLs. One of them, which we call toileting, bathing, clothing, eating. Cognitive impairment. This is for family members that get dementia, Alzheimer's, or if they have some type of head trauma. And transportation. I'm talking about you can't even get to them from the mailbox. Here in the state of California, you get up to $9,900 a month because you can accelerate the policy up to 2%. It's an indemnity. So this means no matter where you're going, I can be from here to Chicago, here in Mexico. We put down Europe. We put down a boat trip. No matter where I'm at, where I go, 
it's an indemnity, so that means that I can accelerate my policy, pull from this $500,000, $9,900 a month for the next five years so I can pay my bills, okay? This way it doesn't hurt my family while I'm still living. Not to say in this, I still have money working for me here, and it's tied into an index. That means I will never lose my money, okay? And when I pass away, they're going to give me an additional 10% of this if I use all $9,900 and I exhausted this. So my family still walks away with $50,000 plus this $250,000, given that I've had this policy for quite some time. It takes time for the money to develop. So I don't want to paint that picture like it's going to have $250,000 tomorrow. No, this is equity that has built up over time. And guess what, you guys? It's tax-free. So what I'm looking at right here is a family's circle. Once again, we got Louie. We got Hallie. We got Vero. We got Kathy. We got Christina. I believe, in my most honest opinion, versus the kids having to go get extra jobs because something happened to mom and dad, that $99 a month helps this family out. I also believe that if something happened to mom or dad health-wise, $250,000 will help this family out. I also believe that if mom or dad pass away early, that $500,000 will help this family out. And most importantly, the biggest thing that I believe in is having a family understand how they can be their own bank, BYOB. This significantly changes this family's stars because what I want to do is protect two things in this family's picture. The checking account, the savings account, the 401k, mom's Batman account, and the fact that they already have life insurance. So I'll ask them, they'll ask me, well, how much does this cost? I'll tell them, great question. How much you put into your checking account between you and your husband, between you and your wife? They say 200 bucks. Savings account, how much? $100. Every month, you don't touch it? Yeah, we put about 100 bucks, we don't touch it. How much you put in your 401k? They tell me $200 each. Mom, how much you put in your Batman account? She smacks me and says, stop asking about my Batman account, Robin. How much you pay for life insurance? $100 a month. So I got $200, I got $100, I got $200, and I got $100. That's $600 right there. And I'll ask this family, are you putting away $600 a month anyways? I don't want you to put away $601. Are you comfortable, based on what I've disclosed to you about having the proper protection for the rest of your life until age 120, Okay, I'm talking about protecting your family at 120, age 120. You can have an account that grows anywhere from 8 to 16% rate of return. It's tied into an index where you never lose your money. And any event that something happens to you, because one in three men and women get cancer, which has been proven, guess what? We can use 50% of this, okay, accelerated. And if something happens to you where you can't use the restroom on your own, uh, one, two of these six ADLs, we can give you up to $9,900 a month. Is it safe to say that I can protect your money picture? And we can do this for $300 a month? Because you're putting away the same money anyways. I'm just going to reallocate it somewhere else. I don't want you putting away $601. I don't want you to feel like you're investing money that you don't already have. But by reallocating a few things here and there, we can use the same money. Okay and make it comfortable for the picture, for the family's financial picture. So what we've done here is we protected this circle, we protected their actual money, and I'll ask them, hey, you know what? I'm looking at your financial picture, and we're paying out $1,000 per client for protecting their circles. Do you have a crusade for protecting family circles? where you can make an extra $1,000 a client. With an extra thirty-five dollars to 
this year on top of your W-2 income be beneficial for your family circle?